All right, good afternoon, everybody. This is Todd Mitchell for Monday, the 13th of November. And let's take a look at that Tesla trade. If you remember the video you received yesterday on Sunday night, I was talking about Tesla. Uh, remember that call? Remember the trade we put on? We bought, we bought five December calls. It's when the price of Tesla was at uh, 301.90, all right? The option was $16.75, okay? Uh, if you recall in the last video, I took two off, two off on Friday. And it was eh, probably within $2 of the high of the day before coming back. Took partial profits. Take a look at my, my account here. Tesla, look at this. Got three left, okay? And look, it's traded at 2405. Bought it at 1675. Up 21, almost $2,200 on just three measly contracts. Um, just, I mean, look at that. Up $2,000 and out of pocket, right? $7,216. Well, that's the market value, up 2000 So it really was only $5,000, right? sixteen hundred and seventy five dollars times three pretty much okay so this is a really good trade so I I'm not taking anything off just yet I'm gonna leave this on and see if we can continue to run so this is a good trade so far let's take a look at some of the other markets we're in uh, Starbucks eh, down a little bit but still up I still think this is going higher ADMS look at that still up still have a portion of this position on from being long down in here gold not doing a whole lot but I'm I still think it's going to be going higher now CERN took me out with a break-even trade on I took a portion of it off up in here remember we bought it right down in here took a portion here broke even on the rest so I'm out of CERN LMAT still a grow a slow grand gradual move to the upside still long from down in here NVIDIA um, good trade. Again, this was a good, good trade. Bought the call options down in here. Took a portion off in here. Still long. I uh, wish I had given that to you all. But again, this is one of our trades uh, on our system, the Velocity, the Velocity Options Trader. That was a great trade and still holding a portion of that as well. All right, let's take a look at MMM. This is the trade for tomorrow. It's 2.30 right now. We've pulled back nicely. Let me get my cursor here. All right. Obviously a nice uptrend. We have pulled back to the 21 exponential moving average right in here. Got oversold right in here on the RSI, the two bar RSI. We pulled back on Friday right here. This is today, right? Today's high is about equal to Friday's, let's say Friday's high, uh, 228.44.43. Okay, so we've actually missed it by a penny. So it looks like, well, we still have an hour and a half of trading. Maybe we're going to take out the high of Friday. If we do, I'm, I'm looking to buy this market actually right in here, right, right in here. But since you're going to get this video after the market closes, look at, this is what, this is what, I think uh, you should be looking to do. Look at so if the market is not able to take out Friday's high, you would be looking to buy it tomorrow. Uh, I'd say 228.64, about 20 cents higher than Friday's high on a breakout trade. If you want to do that, or if you want to play a little bit more aggressive, uh, you could be looking to buy it wherever the closes. Put in a limit at that price, and if the gap's lower, you'll be filled automatically on the open. Okay, so. I'm looking for this market to start moving to the upside the same way I felt Tesla would move up. Now, of course, Tesla was a little bit more overdone. We consolidated a bit and we've broken up through it. I still think MMM, 3M Corporation, could be a nice, nice trade to the upside. So take a look at it. Got any questions, let me know. Bye for now.